Well, hello there. Welcome to a new video of Aroma Taste Buds. Today we will be presenting a video on cyber security and its various domains. Before we jump onto the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. So today I am before you to present a small presentation on the subject cyber security. So that is my field, uh, my uh, subject I major in. My name is Noel Volgis. I am a student of VIT Bhopal University. I am currently pursuing my B.Tech degree in cyber security and digital forensics. Now let's dive into the presentation. In this presentation, I will be mainly focusing on the definition of cyber security, its major domains and what we can know more about the field. Okay, so now let's delve into the definition. How do we define cyber security? According to me, cybersecurity is just a field where you have the constant need of protecting devices that are connected to our internet. So we have mobile phones, laptops, smart TVs, tablets, etc. They are all connected to the internet in one or the other way. So there is a need to protect them and that's the field called cybersecurity. So just think of the normal activities that we do every day scanning our devices for anti-malware, antivirus, file cleaner, etc. All these come under cyber security because we do not need our data to be stolen by criminals and, stole and uh, sold on the dark web. Now let's divide cyber security into four domains. I have listed them in alphabetical order. We have the bug bounty, digital forensics, penetration testing and threat intelligence. Now let's dive into each domain. So, bug bounty hunting. So, just think of the times when you see a bug on a website, whether it be um, source code of a website or, a, uh, or in some cases the website doesn't load up properly. So, that's the occurrence of a bug. So, in bug bounty hunting, researchers, ethical hackers, etc., try to find out different methods in which web websites are uh, facing misconfiguration issues, vulnerabilities, etc. They then create a report of these vulnerabilities and they hand it ethically, report it ethically to the uh, website owners. So what you get in return is financial reward. So you can have um, swags, that is uh, t-shirts, you can probably get a financial reward, that is money, and sometimes you get uh, vouchers like uh, from Amazon. So here we have some few platforms of bug hunting. hunting. We have HackerOne, Yogosha and Bugcrowd. Here are where uh, uh, major companies like Apple, Microsoft, etc. give their vulnerability disclosure program where you can report bugs and earn money. So now let's discuss, discuss about some common bug types. We have information disclosure where you can view uh, sensitive information of uh, users from database, account takeover by uh, ta uh, by using some techniques to take over an admin's account on a website and we have cross-site scripting that is we want to deface a website using our own payload and indirect object, uh, object reference that is how we attack a website by com uh, communicating directly with the database that is present on the backend. Now let's move to the next next field that is digital forensics. So digital forensics actually plays a very important role in um, cybercrime investigations like whether you see mobile phones uh, being stolen or mobile phones being um, destroyed etc. So why, do, why, why does this field exist? This field mainly exists because we have that need to get some crucial evidence that can help us to solve some case and in this case, this digital, uh, this evidence is actually digital in nature. So it can be found on mobiles and tablets. So this is a science of recovering that uh, data from these devices. Now, why? Why do we want this? Because criminals want to eliminate evidence and we have a ready-made science to recover that data, ensure evidence admissibility in court of law so that we have evidence to prove the case and to ensure that the criminal is behind bars. So for digital forensics, we have some tools that is a mem dump, FTK Major, etc. FTK Major will create an exact duplicate copy of a, 
uh, hard disk drive and can allow the digital forensics expert to uh, sift through that uh, duplicated drive to find uh, uh, deleted files and log files etc. Now let's move to the next uh, domain that is penetration testing. Penetration testing is where we conduct an assessment of vulnerabilities or finding vulnerabilities on uh, mobiles, uh, laptops, etc. So in pen testing, we mainly focus on OS vulnerabilities, that is operating system vulnerabilities. Right now, you might be using PCs. PCs have the Windows OS and we also have the Linux OS. So in this field, we try to uncover vulnerabilities that can affect the OSs. So we have the life cycle of pen testing that is uh, recommend that is gaining information about the machine compromising that is we want to find what vulnerabilities are there and how we can possibly exploit it gain access to the machine elevate our privileges from a normal user to root user or administrator user on Windows and exploit the vulnerability to gain the administrator role on the machine. Now we have some tools on the uh, that help us to pen test. That is Metasploit framework, Burpsuit, Derbuster, Netcat, etc. Metasplo Metasploit is a library of uh, payloads that allow us to exploit vulnerabilities. Burpsuit helps us to uh, perform uh, website penetration testing. Derbuster helps us to find subdomains under a given website. Now let's move on to the next field. We have security operations and threat intelligence. So just think about the times where a malicious incident has been has been reported. So this is a field where we want to eliminate any possible occurrences of malicious intrusion into our computer systems. So threat intelligence makes use of machines and tools such as uh, SIEM that is security information and event management, intrusion prevention system, IPS and IDS, intrusion detection system. So these systems allow us to find if any malicious criminal or attacker is trying to gain access to our computer or our network. So it's the domain of dealing with malicious incident detection and trying to remediate the situation. We want to catch the criminal before he does or compromises the security of our system. It's a constant cat and mouse game where we are the cat, we are trying to cap the criminals who is the mouse. We do not want our assets to be stolen or modified. So that is the uh, main objective of threat intelligence and we make use of some tools for the same. Now I'd like to conclude my video. I do hope everyone liked the field of cyber security and a small presentation that I made on C. Thank you. Well, thank you for watching my video. Stay tuned for more videos like this and do not forget to like, share and subscribe. See you in the near future. Thank you.